stole the side of the head. Anthony comes out with five and open the race. Still has it in the back. Look at Shoney on the As Skinner will come out of the box as he was serving a delay of game penalty. Now here come the privateers now. Beats it across a shot there was put into the net. However, Nick Niederts gonna argue saying that it was kicked in. And it appears the referee was in consensus. And they're gonna go to review. So it appeared to have been kicked in by one of the Watertown forwards. If this goal counts, the Privateers will have scored three goals in only five minutes, and they are gonna count the goal. Based off to the let of Matt Anthony, the Privateers win the draw. Around the boards it goes, not getting it out was Harrison though. Good job there by Henning on the fourth check. He meets up with McCarthy behind it. Here's a shot by LaBelle who stopped the rebound. Score! Lucas LaBelle, they have regained a three goal lead and it's his second of the night. Now that will go. Dietrich will lead it up to LaBelle. Looking for the hat trick, he will come across the point. With Zaleski, LaBelle shooting, save, rebound, score! Jamie Zaleski, it's seven to three. Jamie Zaleski with the running man celebration, it deservedly so. They're up again by four. Looking here, moving into the net. And they score, wow, what a goal by A.J. Tesorero. He, what an absolute amazing individual play. He had that puck and dangled it from the high top of the slot and in. Was that a goal? And that's actually gonna be his first goal of the season. You would believe he'd be a top scorer with moves like that. So don't go away yet. It's once again a three goal game. Hey, here's Tremblay now. Up to Andrea. Looking, goes to the net, shoots it across. Tremblay, what a save by Matt Anthony. As cheers are up from the Watertown bench, as Anthony just sprawling across to make the save. And he absolutely robbed the Dashers of a four goal lead. With it now is Andrew Harrison. Lead pass for Erickson. Turns it over, possible two on one. Here's Dietrich, drops it off for Stern, goes to the boards. Back to Lyles with the open lane, shooting, and it goes just wide. Stern on the wide open net, and at Matt Anthony diving across the net and setting that one to that was Lyles. Oh, and we're gonna have a, Mitchell is gonna drop the gloves here. And against Park out, so this is gonna draw a crowd along the boards behind the net. Mitchell goes down. It's Chase Tippin at the bottom of it, and the gloves are gonna get dropped. And Tippin's upset, he's pulled away from the linesman. Watch out here. Chase Tippin trying to pull a Stu Grimson. And he wants him. He wants Mitchell. And Tippin ain't gonna settle down either. Lines been having a lot of trouble. It appears they're tossing somebody out. Or they're trying to, or mass confusion at ice level. Nobody knows what's going on. So I'm right with you, with everybody watching who has no idea what's going on. I'm there with you. We have no idea what's going on right now. A very sizable delay. It's the officials trying to get this going. Chegasola is going to be leaving the bench. And he's been kicked out of the game, it looks like. But why though? Why is he getting kicked out of the game? 30 seconds till the, there he's rolling out Dreyf going to shorthand and going to the breakaway. Great poke check by Matt Anthony to sweep down away on Dreyf, had a wide open net on the backhand. That would have been a sure goal if it wasn't for that poke check to bounce the puck away. 2.11 to go, Mitchell and Tippin I, Tippin ready to drop. And they drop in, here they go, Mitchell and Tippin are gonna go. Mitchell getting in a good left there with Tippin. 
gets him up bounce. He gets back up though, tipping. Just barely misses with the right. He gets another one in though and takes down Mitchell a second time. Mitchell did get some shots away. He's tipping still. Holding on. Mitchell not wanting to let go either. He knew this was coming. Chase Tippin still quite upset. They still want each other. Tipping be held all the way to the Danville blue line. And then they're going to let Mitchell out of the building. And they're going to put Tippin back in the penalty box. So Mitchell says adios. And his two going to the locker room. Tippin will stay in the penalty box to avoid confrontation in the locker room areas. So Dane Erickson and, and LaBelle will take the draw one last time. And that's going to do it. 7-4 Dashers is your final score. They are now third place in the FHL standings. They have Leapfrog, the Watertown Privateers. And they have won three of four against Watertown this year. So but 7-4 is your final. It's Joe Pace and Tip. Oh, watch out here. Tip and Pace having words by the by the opening door. Weitzman having their work ain't done yet. Mason Tippin having words to the end of that one. Jeff Dill will get into it now. Ladies and gentlemen, this ain't over yet. Mason Dill now having words. This is something here. Gotta be careful here. The game's over. You don't want to get in trouble here. And now it appears the situation is fierce for the most part. The majority of the Dashers will go out to center ice to salute the fans. And that'll do it. First off, for the Watertown Privateers in third position tonight, number 14 with two goals, Dustin Skinner. In number two position tonight from your Danville Dashers with one goal, one assist, number nine, Joe Pace. And the number one star of the game tonight with two goals in a leading role for the Dashers, number 19, Lucas Thank you very much, Joe. We'll see you tomorrow. Why can you give us a message shout out to the friends of mine?